going on guys? Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. How are you guys doing? It feels like it's been a while since I last saw you guys. I mean, seeing all your bright and beautiful faces makes me smile. But you know what makes me smile the most? Whenever 320 Tech releases a new video. So here I am making another video for you guys. In today's video, I wanna let you guys know that I recently hit 100 subscribers. I mean, how crazy is that? Before I begin this video, I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you for helping support this channel. You guys have no idea what it means to me and I will never reach this milestone without you guys, so thank you. You know, I started this channel thinking, why would anyone wanna watch my videos? I mean, I think we've all thought about making our own channels, but not many of us actually pull the trigger and actually do it. And I was in the same boat as you guys as well, until one day I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's make a video. But enough about all of that stuff. In today's video, I wanna show you guys how to easily hit 100 subscribers with three simple tips. Now, 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 I know what you guys are thinking. But Kelvin, 100 subscribers isn't even that much. I've seen people with millions of subscribers. And you know what? You're right. But in order to hit 1 million subscribers, you first need to hit 100 subscribers, right? Now, if you guys aren't aware, YouTube won't allow you to have ads on your videos unless you have 1,000 subscribers as well as 40,000 watch minutes. Now that might sound like a lot and that's because it is a lot. But just like in all things in life, if you break things down to smaller achievable goals, the entire picture becomes much, much easier. So let me show you guys my three biggest tips that helped me get over 100 subscribers in under a month. And I'm telling you guys, I swear by these three simple tips that if you follow my tips, you will hit over 100 subscribers in no time. Now I know that it sounds crazy. How can three tips help you get over 100 subscribers? Like how is that even possible? But the thing is, it is very simple, but it's also very effective. Now, because you guys have been asking, I'll also include my one last bonus tip that I didn't think would help very much, but somehow became one of the most biggest and influential changes that blew up my entire channel. I just never ever saw it coming. But wait till the very end for that because you won't want to miss this out. All right, let's get straight into it. Tip number one, you must upload at least one video every single week. It might seem really simple at first, but in order for a channel to grow, it needs to be consistent. And being consistent means you need to upload at least one video every single week. The reason why I say one video is realistically, if you upload more than one video every single week, it probably won't be as high quality as if you focus solely on one really good video. Now I get it, we all have our lives. We need to go to work, we need to see our friends, we need to go to the gym, we need to feed our cats, we need to put up our umbrellas, we gotta watch our dramas, we gotta tie up our shoelaces, we gotta draw dragons and fairies on pieces of paper that we don't even have. Believe me, I get it, but you need to prioritize on what's important. And if you're serious about growing your channel and hitting that 100 subscriber mark, you need to be consistent. All right, tip number one, two, three, four, two. Quantity over quality. Wait, what? Quality over quantity. I've seen like some channels on YouTube upload maybe four to five videos per day. But realistically, each of these videos are really low quality and it's pretty obvious that they don't put much effort in these videos at all. Like it's pretty clear and obvious that they aren't really putting much effort into their videos. Like, don't get me wrong, you can still make those videos, but if the audience isn't getting any value from those videos, then that video isn't actually helping you grow your own channel. So what's the point of it? The key to growing on YouTube is being able to consistently upload high quality content for all your viewers that help grow your own channel. Typically, as soon as the quality drops, the audience will see it and tend to be able to notice it straight away which might cause you to lose your audience, which is not what you want. So don't bother taking any shortcuts. Try and focus on producing one video that's high quality every single week. As time goes on though, you'll be able to get faster and better at making videos. And by then, maybe you can make two or three videos per week. But until then, start things off very, very simple. One video every single week, high quality. It's as simple as that. Okay, tip number three. You wanna have good audio and video. Now, notice how I said good, not great. A lot of people are deterred from making a channel because they think that making a channel involves having a really expensive camera and a really big setup and a studio and stuff like that. 
no, that is not the case at all. And then afterwards, they checked the prices of all these high-end cameras and realized that it cost them thousands of dollars. After that, they're like, no, nah, it's not worth paying for all that. I can't afford that stuff. But that is not the case. You can record good video from something as simple as your phone. It's as simple as that. Our smartphones, our iPhones, our Samsungs, our Androids, they can all record very good video. And the thing is, that video is good enough to be posted on YouTube. I'm telling you guys right now, there's no need for these high and expensive cameras. That's one of the biggest myths I've heard and by all means, it's not true at all. You don't need a high-end camera to make a good YouTube channel. Content will always overshadow quality. Because if you guys think about it, if a video is really clear and really nice to watch, your viewers will enjoy it as well. If you upload a grainy video, then no one wants to watch a grainy video. People want to watch high quality videos. Make sense? But by all means, as time goes on and after you start profiting from this channel of yours, if you do suddenly see growth as well, investing in a camera can be something that you can consider down the line. But as of right now, for starting a brand new channel, a phone camera is plenty. In terms of the audio, the built-in microphone on most phones aren't too great. So it is definitely worth considering investing in an external microphone. For the most part, external microphones aren't too expensive. And if you're able to invest in those, the quality of the entire video will become so much better. And if you can't afford one brand new, things like eBay, Marketplace, Craigslist, Gumtree, all these different sites have secondhand external microphones that sell for less than half the price. Investing in an external microphone might be one of the best investments that you can make for your channel. The combination of good audio and good video makes for an overall great video. The thing is, the viewers stay for the content, but the quality helps make the content better. So, get good audio and good video. If you guys are still watching until this point, good job because it shows that you guys actually care about growing your channel. Okay, the bonus tip for getting 100 subscribers is having a good thumbnail. If you guys think about it, in order for someone to subscribe to you, they first got to watch your video, right? But what if they never watched your video? What then? Then they'll never have the opportunity to subscribe to you. So you gotta make this thumbnail enticing enough for them to click on it. Now, now, this doesn't mean you have to pay some expensive professional to edit every single thumbnail for you. You don't even need those really expensive programs like Photoshop to help make these thumbnails for you. By all means, if you have these programs available, then use them because they can be very powerful tools. But for someone starting off, by all means, these programs are not essential. There are a bunch of free websites like Canva and Snapper that allow you to have customizable options for creating a thumbnail and it's all totally free as well. The key to making a good thumbnail is ensuring that you put time and effort to ensure that it's high quality and not rushed within five minutes time. Add some color, some text, a photo even, a border. Do something to it, make it look personalized and different. That's the goal to making a strong thumbnail. By doing this, you'll also be getting more views and ultimately more chances of someone subscribing to you as well. So the thing is, even the smallest things like a thumbnail can help you transform your entire channel to grow every single day. To summarize, upload at least one video a week. Focus on quality, not quantity. Make sure that you have good video and good audio. And lastly, put time and effort into constructing a strong thumbnail for your videos. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you right now, I guarantee you guys, if you guys follow my three tips plus the bonus tip as well, you guys will hit 100 subscribers. You guys will never see it coming. I'm telling you guys right now, be consistent, work hard and you can achieve it. These same skills can push you even further as well. If you want 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, even 1 million subscribers, if you apply these same skills, it'll push you as far as you want. But Kelvin, how far can it push me? Uh, hmm, getting kind of late now, so let's wrap up this video. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see some more tips and tricks on how to grow a channel like mine. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Brrr.